Hey guys, Stampers, this is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics, and I have this really cute Mother's Day card for you. What's better than a bottle of perfume on your Mother's Day celebration? Anyway, um, I thought the florals are pretty, and also this little perfume bottle, which I'm getting from the Dress to Impress stamp set. We're going to be using the perfume bottle and this little swoosh, I call it. And then we're going to also be using the matching all dressed up dyes. We're going to use the perfume bottle and this nice little saying. But they also have shapes that match um, like the shoe and the lipstick and it makes a little purse, has buttons. It's got all kinds of really cute things in there that you can also use flowers. Um, but we're going to use these two for today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for our base, I'm going to be using Highland Heather. This is our card base. It's an eight and a half by 11, and I just cut it in the middle at four and a half, four and a quarter, I'm sorry. And then I had a piece of Whisper White, which is four by five and a quarter, and I ran it through our um, embossing folder with the Tufted Dynamic Textured Impressions. I just thought this would make a nice background for our card. And then I also took my two inch uh, circle round punch and I punched a piece of Whisper White paper that then I ran through, again, my embossing folder, and I have a piece like this that we're gonna be using for this in our background. So I did that all at the same time. Now, to go with that round circle punch, I've used our Starburst and a piece of mint macaron, and I'm just gonna go ahead and punch that out. And then these two will get glued together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and just to have a little border of that pretty green, that mint macaron, which is so soft and it's actually in our colors here. Now I'm also using the Dress to Impress. Let me get it. It's called Best Dressed and it's the six by six designer series paper. And there are so many cute, cute patterns in here, but I'm using the floral one today. And I'll have all these measurements for you on my blog. And I just cut this down to uh, let's see, I believe it was five. This is a six inch piece. So I cut it down to, I think it was five and three quarters. I'll have it on my blog and I'm going to take my banner punch and I'm just going to slip that in, look from the back, make sure I've got it even on both sides and then cut to make a banner for our card. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue that on to our white tufted piece. And I'm using the glue because it does hold when you've embossed something. So it's a little bit better than the snail. Okay, so this piece is a little longer than the one I did on the card, but that's okay. I think it still looks good. This one I must have cut at five and a half, and I think I cut this at five and three quarters. So I'll go back and measure and let you know what I used. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and put that on our card base because there's really no other thing that we're gonna do underneath here. So we can go ahead and glue that down so that that can be drying. And you can shift it over a little bit until you get it where you want it. There we go. And I'll go ahead and just put one of my blocks on it for now. All right, so let's get back to this. We need a perfume bottle. So I'm gonna take a piece of Whisper White and I'm gonna be using my Black Memento ink and also my Highland Heather for our inks. So let's go ahead and do both. So I'm inking up my perfume. And then I'm gonna take my little swoosh with the Highland Heather ink, but I'm gonna bring in a piece of paper because I wanna stamp off. And let me show you what I mean by stamping off. You're going to ink up your stamp, stamp off onto a piece of paper, and then stamp onto your project to make just a little bit of a lighter color. I didn't want it to be as dark as it was turning out, which would have been probably this dark. <clears throat> Okay, and then I'm also gonna take my Highland Heather and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my 
Happy Mother's Day. So I'll just do that over here. And then, like I said, I'm using these two dies. So I'm going to use the perfume bottle die. And then I have a nice label die, which I'll go ahead and then run that through my cutting machine. And so I've got them already done here. I'm going to take some dimensionals and put them on the back of the perfume bottle just to pop it up a little bit on our circle. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that onto my card base. It should be dry by now. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that up too. And we're gonna just add it up sort of, not in the center, a little bit more over to the right. Then I'm gonna take this and add a few dimensionals. So I'm gonna add one there and one there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our saying onto the bottom. I'm just gonna post it sort of like that. And then again, I'm gonna be using my Noble Peacock Rhinestones. I'm actually using these a lot. Absolutely love them. I'm gonna use that green color again, just to bring it in over here. Now this is more of a granny apple green, but if you can see the different shades of green in here, I think it still goes well. And that's our card. So if you need any of these supplies, you can go over to stampfanatics.com. I'll have a list of supplies and also instructions how to make this. And you can watch our video and stamp along with me. And you can purchase any of these supplies with me at stampfanatics.com. I appreciate your business. Thanks and have a great day.